Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make the scarf here. It has bobbles in it. You can't see them that well, I guess, with the yarn I use, but it looks pretty cool. It's really long. You, of course, can make it any length that you want. But it's actually really easy, so let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, for this project, I'm using Caron Latte Cakes. It's the cake with the fuzz in it. It's really soft. And it's a bulky number five. Now, you don't have to use this yarn. Any, um, I don't think it's a real thick bulky five. So any four weight will work. And any thin bulky five will work too also. Or probably any bulky five. And any four weight will work, I'm sure. Um. There, it's a, an acrylic nylon blend. There's 530 yards in this cake, and I just used one entire cake um, to make my scarf really long. But you can make it, like I said in the beginning, as long as you want. The color I used, I didn't use this color. I used the color um, uh, Velvet Teal. And then I'm going to be using a size K, which is a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I want to take a minute to ask you to please not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you look in the description box of this video, you'll see an auto subscribe link. If you click on that, you'll never miss any of my updates. So we're going to go ahead and start with the slip knot on our hook. Now this stitch is called the bobble and ladder stitch and it's done in a multiple of six plus three in case you want to use it for something else or make your scarf a little wider or a little uh, thinner. Okay, you want to start off with a chain of 33. Okay, once you get your chain of 33 done, we want to go ahead and double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. Now remember, we don't count the one that's on our hook, so go ahead and count back four stitches and do a double crochet into that fourth stitch. Just like that. Now starting now is going to start our repeat. We're going to do a chain of two. We're going to skip one stitch and single into the next. And then we're going to do a chain of two. We're going to skip one stitch and put one double crochet into the next three stitches. So we skip one, put a double crochet into the next. A double crochet into the next and a double crochet into the next now we're going to repeat that again we're going to chain two skip one stitch single crochet into the next chain two skip one stitch and put one double crochet into the next three stitches so skip one and double crochet into the next three. So there's one, two, and three. Repeat it again. Chain two, skip one, single crochet into the next. chain two, skip one, and one double crochet into the next three. Okay, we're going to repeat it again. Chain two, skip one, single into the next. Chain two, skip one, one double crochet into the next three.
and then when you're coming to the end here we're going to chain two skip one single crochet into the next and you'll have three stitches that remain chain two skip one and put one double crochet into the, each of the last two stitches and that will end row one and you'll have four sets of these three double crochets okay so for row two we're going to chain one and turn now rows two and three are the repeat rows for the whole scarf so for row two we're going to go ahead and put a double crochet right back into the very first stitch and a double crochet into the next stitch so we always start off with those two double crochets now we're going to do a chain of three and we're going to skip the single crochet in these chains and we're going to put a double crochet right here into the first double crochet of this set of three like that and now we're going to put a bobble into the next double crochet so this is how we work the bobble we're going to yarn over go into that next double crochet like that draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook now you want to do that five times so that was one so again we're going to yarn over go in the same stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook it's two times yarn over still going in the same stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops that's three times yarn over same stitch draw up a loop yarn over go through the first two that's four times one more time yarn over go into the same stitch draw up a loop yarn over go through the first two you should have six loops that remain yarn over and go through all six now you want to pull it kind of tight and then we're going to go ahead and put a don't chain or anything a double crochet right here into the top of the next double crochet just like that now when you flip it over to the right side you'll be able to see the bobble pop out so now we're going to repeat that what we just did to the end of the row we're going to chain three again skip all this the single crochets in the chains we're going to be working in these three double crochets so we're going to put a double crochet into the first one a bobble into the next one so we yarn over go in draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops we need to do that five times that was once two three four there's five six loops remain yarn over and go through all six pull it tight and double crochet right here into this next double crochet just like that and repeat chain three jump over here to your next set of three doubles and double crochet into your first one bobble into the next double crochet you'll have six loops that remain there yarn over go through all six pull it tight and one double crochet into the next double crochet repeat again chain three we're going to work in this last 
group of three double crochet. So we just jump over here to that first double crochet or to this, yeah, in this group of three and double crochet and then bobble into the next double crochet Pull it tight and one double crochet directly into the next double crochet. And then we reach the end of the row. We just chain three and put one double crochet into these last two double crochets. One of them's actually this chain here on the end, but it counts as a double. So one double crochet into the last two stitches. The last one will be the top of that chain, just like that. And that'll end row two, and if you flip it to the right side, you'll be able to see the bobbles. And you'll have four bobbles now. Row three, we chain one and turn our work. Double crochet into the first stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to start the repeat for row three. We're going to chain two and single crochet directly into this chain space. So just go right into it and single crochet. Then we're going to chain two and now we're going to put one double crochet into the next three stitches. So it's one double into the next double crochet. One double on top of that bobble and one double into the next double crochet and now we're just going to repeat that to the end of the row we're going to chain two single crochet directly through this chain space so go right through it single crochet chain two and one double into the next three stitches so one double into the next double crochet one double on top of that next bobble and one double into the next double crochet like that repeat it again chain two single crochet right through the next chain space chain two one double into the next three stitches chain two, one single into the next chain space, chain two, one double into the next three stitches, and then we're going to end our row sorry about that by chain two, one single right through the next chain space, chain two, and one double in each of the last two stitches. You always end with two double crochets and or one double crochet in the last two stitches. And you always start with one double crochet in the first two stitches. So you'll have always have two double crochets on each end. Now that's it. And now you'll have four of the chain three spaces. Again, it's just a repeat now of rows two and three. It's really easy once you get the hang of it, and it, it works up really fast. Now, I just did it. Just chain one and turn. You put two double crochets and two, one into the first stitch, one into the next. And then you would chain three and jump over here to this group of three. Remember what we did on row two? Double crochet, bobble, double crochet chain three, double crochet, bobble, double crochet, chain three. So we just repeat 
what we did for rows two and three until you get the scarf as long as you want it to be. I just did it until I used up my uh, cake of yarn. But of course, you don't have to do as many rows as I did. I actually did 125 rows for mine. I ended in a row that was not a bobble row. But like I said, you do as many as you want. If you think my scarf's too long, you know, you make it shorter. If you want it a lot longer than mine, you go right ahead. It's your scarf, however you want it to look. But that is it. Once you get done with that last row, you just tie off and hide any remaining tails. And then you're finished. It's super easy. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I hope you were able to follow along okay. The scarf's super soft with that yarn. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Remember about that auto subscribe link in the description box. And don't forget to uh, check out all my other tutorials. I have hundreds of them. So until next time, have a good day.